Hi everyone, so today we're gonna take a look at two very similar guitars. The Eastman E8 OMTC and the Sigma Triple OME Plus. They are both made in China and they are both orchestra models and they are made of pretty much the same woods. So in general they just pretty much the same guitar. Or are they? The main difference is that one is quite expensive and the other one is relatively more affordable and they're separated by a thousand pounds so we're gonna take a look at what difference that makes. On my right hand side we have the Eastman E8 OMTC. This guitar retails for a thousand three hundred pounds and it comes with a solid Sika spruce top, rosewood back and sides mahogany neck and ebony fingerboard and bridge. On my left hand side we have the Sigma Triple OME Plus. This guitar retails for less than 300 pounds. It has a solid spruce top as well. Uh, this time we have mahogany back and sides and neck and it comes with a Mikata fretboard and bridge. So unlike the Eastman, the fingerboard and the bridge on the Sigma are not made of real solid wood but a synthetic material and the mahogany back and sides are made of layered wood. So is that why it costs a thousand pounds less? Well, no, there are other things too. For example, the Eastman comes with a nitrocellulose lacquer finish, which requires a good level of craftsmanship in order to get done properly, where the Sigma has a much more simple satin finish. The Eastman features elegant details like the herringbone binding and the abalone inlays, where the Sigma is much more simple and plain. These details are not necessarily making the Eastman a better instrument, in fact there are more cosmetic differences that don't really matter in terms of sound. By the law of diminishing returns, the more value you add to a guitar, the less it's going to actually affect the sound. But you can hear a difference in sound, I'm sure. So. What is it? First of all, the Eastman has solid rows of back and sides. That gives the Eastman a lot more mid-range, a very rich low end and very jingly highs. Combine that with the ebony fingerboard and bridge and the roasted Sika spruce top and you get a very rich instrument with great balance and projection. The Sigma, on the other hand, doesn't sound any bad, but is lacking some of that projection and sustain that the Eastman has. You can't hear as many overtones and the frequencies are not that balanced. The main difference to me is that Eastman guitars are not made in China, they are proudly handcrafted in Beijing. Founded in 1992, Eastman strings initially gained reputation and popularity in making violins and they carried that same uh, philosophy to the present day in the making of their acoustic and electric guitars. So what is the real difference? They're both acoustic guitars. They both sound like acoustic guitars and they look like acoustic guitars. But with an instrument like the Eastman, just having the guitar in your hands makes you feel and see that it's a high quality instrument. You can really see and feel the attention of detail and the craftsmanship that went into the making of the guitar. 
If you're interested, you can go and check out the previous video I made on the Eastman where I go through all the details. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. It feels solid and sturdy and very resonant and it looks beautiful and you can really see the level of craftsmanship and attention to detail that went into the making of the guitar. And to me that is what really keeps the guitar in your hands and makes you want to play it more and more and more. And the more you play, the better you get, right? So, is the Sigma a bad guitar? No, not at all. In fact, I still play it. It comes with a pickup system and doesn't have any expensive, fancy finish. So I always take to rehearsals because I can plug in the PA straight away and not have to worry too much about it taking a ding from time to time. It sounds good, it's practical and it plays well. For a beginner, it would be a dream guitar to start on. So to sum it up, for me, it's all in the little things. They make a guitar like the Eastman, something that I really want to touch and grab and play all the time. And that to me is the most valuable thing. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.